Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and to my adventure with CTS Wardrobe, which is going along quite well, I think. <laughs> I'm learning a lot of stuff. So today I wanted to teach you how to upload something to your wardrobe using something called the UUID, which means basically you don't have to take a picture of yourself in the outfit or in the item to upload. We're going to use one that we already have. So I'm going to use this, um, I have the skirt and the top that comes from Eliva. So I'm going to use the skirt for this example. I actually bought it in this pink color and in black. So there's the black version. Here's the pink version that I have on right now. And when I upload this to my wardrobe, I'm actually going to put the black version and the pink version in the same folder so I can choose which color I want to wear that day. All right, so let us get started, shall we? Yes, we shall. Um, the darker pink is what I have on. So when I talk about a UUID, if you go to the texture that's included in the folder, and it will res any second now. Ta-da! They just used a generic um, picture. They used the black version for the picture, even though it's in the pink folder, <laughs> which is all good. We can deal with that, right? So when you look at the texture, if you look down here next to the size, it says UUID. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy that. When you click on it, it copies it. And then when we go over to wardrobe, let me get to my wardrobe. Where is it? Where is it? So many windows. And I press import, bump, and add items. If you look where I can drag, or I can drag files here, but on this image, it's got the three dots where I can browse and go out to my hard drive to find it. I can put a URL, or here it says enter texture UUID. So let's do that. And I'm just going to paste. And there is the texture UUID. Then I can say OK. And it puts that in. Now, not only does it put the image in there, it's going to put the creator automatically in there. Now, this stuff we can get rid of because that's the last thing I uploaded. And it saves it. But before I can actually continue with this, I need to organize it in my inventory because right now it's not in my RLV folder it is just in my um, inventory whoop now you can't see me and there I am dun, 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 dun. let's try that okay so here's my RLV folder and I'm gonna open that and we're gonna go to clothing and then I should already have a folder do I Nope, I don't have a folder for Eliaval. So we're going to right click on clothing. I'm going to make a new folder. Eliaval, I just like to say that. <laughs> so there's my creator folder for Eliaval. So now I'm just going to take this folder. Let's close these because sometimes that gets confusing. I'm going to take this folder for the black version. And you know what I want to do? Because I want the pink folder to be in here too. I mean the pink skirt. So I'm going to take this skirt and drag it to this folder. And that's the pink one. And I'm going to know because I have that one on and I don't have <laughs> the black one on. I hope I'm not confusing y'all. I probably am. The single HUD is the same for both of these. So I don't need any of this stuff. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to delete that folder now that I got the skirt out that I wanted. So there's the pink skirt. Here's the black skirt. There's an image. There's an info card, which I don't need that anymore. And then here's the HUD. So we're going to take this folder and we're going to drag it over to Eliva in my RLV folder. Open it up. So now, because I need a title for my um, image and wardrobe, it has to match whatever this is. 
So I'm actually going to rename this. I'm just going to call it the somnolent skirt. And here I'm actually going to put black and dark pink. So I know I have two colors in that folder. All right. So once we do that, now we need to put each one of these items in a separate folder. So I'm going to add a folder for the HUD. And I'm going to take the HUD and I'm going to drag it right there. Right there, right there. Can y'all tell I'm Southern? And then I'm going to make one for skirt pink. And I'm going to grab the one I have on because I know that's the pink one. And then I'm going to make a new folder for skirt black. And we're going to drag this other one up there. And then I'm just going to leave the texture for the picture right there. So now I usually go in here and I click rename and then I copy that to make sure I get the whole thing exactly right. And then we're going to go back over to wardrobe, wardrobe, and I'm going to paste the title of my folder right there. Okay, tags. This is Eliava, which I don't have a tag yet, so it's not showing up. So there's Eliava, and this is a skirt. Uh, we're going to say it's mid. It's not a teeny tiny mini skirt. Skirt that's mid, and we're going to put in the color black, and we're going to put in the color pink, which it's a dark pink, but whatever. <laughs> We could say blush or get fancy, but I'm not trying to do that right now. <sighs> Skirt, mid, black, pink. Got the creator. <laughs> I think that's it. All right. Let's go down and hit submit. And that did it because my image is gone. And then I'm going to do show all. And there it is. There's my skirt. Now, one last thing. Let's check and make sure that we have our folders. And we do. So now when I want to wear that skirt, I can choose the black one. I can choose the pink one. I can put the HUD on. And it's all there and good to go. So that is how you add an image or add an um, item to your wardrobe using the UUID from the texture. Again, the UUID is this little button right here. You just click it, copy it, and then you can paste it on in. So, dun, 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 that is it for this adventure. Hopefully that helps you. Let me close that out. And if you're liking this series, and if you're checking out other stuff on the channel, which you should, because we got some good stuff, I'm just saying, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video, leave me comments if you have any questions, or you can find me in World Contact Information is in the show notes. So until next time in our next adventure, peace out, y'all.